Hello. So let's talk about some oscillator tuning. Um, first of all, welcome to analog synthesis if you're watching this. Because um, sort of the takeaway from this that I want you to have is like, this is just voltage and these devices really don't care. <laughs> they don't care about C sharp, A flat, F. They don't care. It's just a voltage number. Um, so for that reason, when you're plugging things into other things, you are getting like voltage added to itself, which is going to change the pitch. And I'll try to show you what that means. Um, basic basics. These two knobs, this is the tuner um, for VCO1. This is the tuner for VCO2. So wherever I put this knob, it's going to put out a note. So um, I have a tuner pulled up on my computer, and you can probably see it reacting to my talking. Um, but what happens is, you know, I'm going to hit the trigger, and the tuner is going to read whatever note is coming out of this. Okay, so it thinks it's kind of a in between a G and a G sharp. Now, I only have VCO1 up, so as I turn this knob, it's going to change the tuner. So now we have an E. So, like, that's all there is to it. You have to have some kind of tuner if you're trying to get a specific note out of this. Um, so you can plug a guitar tuner. You can use the Ableton Live tuner. You can use whatever you have that has a tuner um, that can read this pitch. Um, some things to note. As we move these two knobs, these are pitch envelopes, so things change. Um, I'm going to just run the sequencer here. Okay, so it's running at an A-sharp right now. If I mess around with, you know... We are changing the pitch, you know. The resting pitch is still kind of A-sharp, right? And this is kind of, you know, part of a large, larger subject of, like, live performance. We can, um... that is sort of an effect. It's a pitch effect. Okay? Similarly, VCO2 works the same way. If I turn up VCO2, let's advance. We'll start from the beginning again. Right? So if I move this, we get a different note. Now, on the DFAM, these uh, two oscillators are sort of meant to be reactive to each other. That's why VCO2 has a hard sync. Um, so what hard sync does is it adds um, harmonics. It takes VCO2 and sort of at, makes it a harmonic of the fundamental of VCO1. So if I flip that switch up, we start our sequence. obnoxious as I turn up this frequent this uh there's our hard sync happening and as this goes up we get more harmonics similarly FM kind of it's this similar idea you know we're using frequency modulation um so as I'm turning this up, um, we're basically affecting the other oscillator. <laughs> okay. And you just, you know, if you want need a specific note, you're just like literally trying to hit the tuner in a way that does that. So here's a B. Some of these are tricky. You know, if you've got a lot of hard sync or a lot of FM, you're going to be like searching for the combination of these two knobs that make that note. Okay. Now, further consideration. If I plug in an external sequencer, anything, you know, I'm going to go into VCO1 CV just for... Um, 
demonstration purposes here. And I'm going to take my gate from my sequencer and go into trigger. All right, so my sequencer is set to the key of D. However, this is just voltage. This doesn't care at all <laughs> what you've set on your sequencer. You still have to tune it. Um, so if I go over here and I start my sequence, and these notes are all supposed to be Ds, right? And we see on the tuner, it is an A sharp. So I have to go here and find the note that I'm looking for. And you can see these are pretty sensitive knobs, like barely touching it. Okay, it's a percussion synthesizer, so it's like meant to be, you know, it can be a little wonky. Because it's not like a real live acoustic drum, you can tune to a D and have it stay exactly at a D, because the drum heads move too. This is the same idea. Okay, and then if I start changing pitches now on my sequencer, I should probably... Yeah, so... We're started, we're like staying in the key now. Okay, so hopefully that gives you some ideas and gives you a better understanding of how this works. You know, if I add VCO2 in just for the heck of it, we're gonna have another oscillator to tune. sync and FM. And this is where like using your ears is really important. Okay, so I hope that helps you understand how these all kind of work together. Remember, it's just voltage. If you need a specific note, you are going to need a tuner unless you have perfect pitch. Take care.